think I got the swagger back and uh, kind of that fuck you attitude that I need to have to to be successful. <laughs> I think I got the swagger back and uh, kind of that fuck you attitude that I need to have to, to be successful. <laughs> we didn't go to shootouts again, so... <laughs> Oh, the tough, this team that closes, kind of gives out. Do you able to go tonight? The key in terms of taking the game over that second period. Attacking so fast, man. I have no idea what you're saying. Second period on, you guys just kind of said, "Go." What was the key? What was the key? Uh, I think we had a strong second period, you know, and we just kind of kept it rolling. And then, uh, you know, obviously, we knew how many games it went to the overtime at home, especially at home, and uh, just wanted to make sure we get that, uh, you know, one more goal than them, and. Uh, you know, I'm glad we closed it out, but uh, it wasn't easy in the end. They they had a really good movement since way since they went down 2-1, and uh, you know, I'm glad we hold on to that. When he moved, Kutz is on. He said he hoped that would jumpstart you. Uh, talk about how much Kutz has helped you to get going. He's open, everyone. He's uh, he's always at the right position. Same with Oscar. So uh, they are both really easy to read off, and I think. Uh, you know, for me to keep uh, a little bit of a speed, you know, kind of help me, so I don't have to stop and start all the time, which is really hard to do for 83 game season. So uh, I'm moving a little bit better, and uh, I feel like I have a swagger back. If I don't play with a swagger, that's uh, I think that's what was missing. I got the swagger back and uh, kind of that fuck you attitude that I need to have to to be successful. <laughs> Pedersen <laughs> uh, didn't even have a shot on goal. Just how much does that say about what you guys did to dictate tempo? And well, I think since we got to put together uh, in Carolina, I think uh, we played strong defensive games, all three games of that. So, uh, you know, plus two in those three games against their top lines. Obviously, you know, Kutz is uh, one of the best defensive forwards, putting up huge offensive numbers. So, uh, you know, like I said, he knows what to do to, to make uh, the other top lines you know, miserable, and uh, I think we did a good job. I don't know how many shots they had this peer, uh, this game, but uh, overall, I think uh, we played them pretty good, and uh, we were pretty good on the four check, which uh, kills their momentum. Thanks. Our apologies for the language we just heard, but going back to you, a quote from Elaine Vino. He said that when he put Jake Voracek on that line with Katuria, he did it. Because